guys, in this video I will show you how to make a crochet bouquet complemented with chocolate. Mine is in grey colors because it's a 25 years wedding anniversary, silver marriage, so I have chosen grey for my project. In this project we will have crochet lavender, tulips, hearts and some numbers. And here are the materials that you need. Let's start with tulips, there are going to be two sizes, small and medium. Start with the magic ring. Make 10 single crochet into the ring. Tighten it, but not too much, because we will need that hole at the bottom later. Slip stitch and chain 1. Now make 2 single crochet into each stitch. By the end of the round you will have 20 single crochet. Slip stitch and chain 1. Make 1 single crochet into each stitch. Slip stitch and chain 1. This is the base for the small tulip and I'm going to repeat this round 10 times. So you just place one single crochet into each stitch. It's going to look like a small basket. The small tulip is almost done, you can cut the yarn. And that's how the medium tulip will look like. So let's make it! First two rounds are going to be the same, we start with the magic ring and then make 10 single crochet into the ring. Tighten the ring, then make slip stitch and chain 1. After that place 2 single crochet into each stitch, so by the end you are going to have 20 single crochet. Slip stitch, chain 1 and here comes the difference. Make 2 single crochet into the first stitch and 1 single crochet into the next one and then repeat around. So by the end you will get 30 single crochet. Slip stitch, chain 1. Make 1 single crochet into each stitch and repeat this round 10 slash 12 times. When you crochet as many tulips as you need, put some stuffing inside, take the hot glue and the wooden stick, apply the glue at the end of the stick and put it inside the tulip. And tighten the magic ring and stitch the sides of the tulip like shown in the video.
hide the yarn and cut the extra. Now let's make some hearts. Make a magic ring and then single crochet six times into the ring. Tighten the ring, make a slip stitch and chain one. Make two single crochet into each stitch. Slip stitch and chain one. Make one single crochet into each stitch. Slip stitch and chain one. Repeat the previous round one single crochet into each stitch. Slip stitch and cut the yarn. Turn inside out the piece and put the ends of the yarn inside. And now repeat and make the second piece like this. Then take the needle and the end of the yarn on one of the pieces and we are going to stitch them. We will use two stitches on each side. Now take the hook and yarn Insert the hook in one of the stitches, chain one and single crochet into the same stitch and then single crochet around. Slip stitch and chain one. Make five single crochet. And then single crochet two together. Repeat around. Slip stitch and chain one. 
make four single crochet and single crochet two together and repeat around slip stitch and chain one make three single crochet and then single crochet two together and repeat around slip stitch and chain one Make two single crochet and then single crochet two together. And repeat around. Start stuffing your heart. Get the crochet hook back, make one single crochet and then single crochet two together and repeat around. Make a slip stitch. Take the hot glue, wooden stick Apply the hot glue on the end of the wooden stick and put it inside the heart. Now I got back to my crochet hook and I'm going to make the last round of single crochet two together. Take a needle and just stitch from side to side to cover the hole. Hide the end and cut the extra. Let's proceed with lavender. Slip knot and chain 60. Make 5 double crochet into the 4th chain from the hook Chain 2 and slip stitch into the same chain where we were making double crochet. Single crochet into the next chain. Now remember this V, you can even mark it if you want. Chain 6. And make slip stitch to that V, which is the top of our single crochet. And repeat it into each chain. So we make a single crochet, then chain 6 and slip stitch to the top of single crochet.
and that's how it's going to look like. Let's hide the end of the yarn with the needle. Then take the wooden stick, hot glue and repeat what we already done several times. Apply it at the end of the wooden stick and join with the lavender as shown in the video. Then I also crocheted the numbers, two pieces of each, it's 2 and 5. I will attach in the comments the tutorial that I used, they also have other numbers, so for sure you can crochet the ones that you need. I'm going to stitch the numbers and between I will put the wooden stick with the hot glue. Now come in the sweet part, I'm going to use the foil to pack my chocolate, it's going to be the imitation of the silver, because it's the silver marriage. Now repeat the same procedure with the hot glue. And now when all the pieces are ready, let's start forming the bouquet. I will leave you some videos in the description that I used for the inspiration. And I hope you will make a great bouquet for whatever occasion you have. Hit the like if it was useful, subscribe to my channel and I see you in my other tutorials. Bye!